welcome everyone. So welcome to the Cures Value Working Group meeting of July 15. Uh, we have a pretty light agenda today. Uh, one is like we have released two metrics. One is uh, uh, impact of a Catholic researcher uh, metric and the other one is organizational influence. So just need a review or anything on that. And the current one we are well, proposes the researcher reputation uh, metric and the fair metric, which we've done. I don't know, Matt was assigned on the fair metric for the uh, to do some work. I, I guess he has not done it. So, should we postpone that to once he join it and he'll do something? Or if you have, uh, Dr. Sivin, if you have anything to add, then we can go with that. Um, let's start looking at that. Open a preview, open the real thing. So we have two, which one should we continue? One is researcher reputation, which uh, is a proposed metric and the other one is fair proposed metric, which is based on the findable, accessible, interoperable and reasonable. I vote for the researcher one, just cause Matt. Research, yeah, okay. So the researcher reputation, uh, what then what will be our research question is what is the reputation of a researcher or do we know who proposed this i i think the chain for both of these um came out of me introducing the group to this this Nathan letter Um, so it doesn't really have an owner per se right now. Matt may have gotten them started in a meeting. Okay. If I put this out there, but um, beyond that, I don't know. Yeah, I also recall these two were uh, came out of the discussion we were having on this uh, letter that accessibility of the researchers work in open source which yeah, was on the and how reputable or in influential uh, researcher is in this in the open source domain yeah i've got a bunch through another discussion if i can find it i have a bunch more references beyond um beyond that Mason letter on, on discoverability, et cetera, and annotating and, and so on. So uh, give me a stack or two. I am trying to find a tools document. They're out of a draft document that Johns Hopkins is producing for that Mason group. My laptop Is this the one in the uh, link in the letter? No, this is a different thing. Okay. Right, it's of course not opening the file. 
around there's I've got a bunch of links now when I track them down from the school's document um, that that addresses metadata for research and stuff like that um, that would be helpful for this bare metric. As I say, I'm having trouble finding it. People who are much smarter than me when it comes to this stuff who have, you know, different boards and groups that have talked about it. Stephen, are they mostly um, ways to, to measure the... Or ways to mark up your stuff, right? Okay. So that then we would probably use those as ways to measure. Yeah, that makes total sense. Is it the guidance for the researcher to mark them up? Correct. Or, okay. Okay. Okay, I have found the document. In an ideal world, I would just share the document, but it's pre-release, so I can't do that. Um, but I can copy and paste. Licensing stuff. All right, here's a bunch of the metadata and documentation information. Some software citation principles. This is this is focused on academic software as opposed to open science overall. Okay. I'm gonna put this stuff in the comment and then we can look at them. There we go. Some of these didn't come through as links that you could have. So let me see where that stopped. Ontosoft would be the next one, I think. Data Curation Network. I especially like the uh, bullet point on the very first one, the 10 simple rules for documenting scientific software. I really like the one that uh, rule 10, tell people how to cite your software. Cause I believe that that was like a big deal is how many times your software was cited, right? Would it be okay? Do you think if we drop these all in the minutes? So yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I, just, I wanted you guys to look at them over first. If you thought one or two of them weren't applicable, I didn't want to. I had that. Want to stuff link. the the formal notes with too much, right?
So anyway, you know, by looking at what these folks are telling people to do, maybe we can use those to find ways to inform the metric. And that would definitely help with the second metric and might help with the first. I what, agree. what I'm feeling is uh, first we have a fair metrics that can help us to guide the researcher to increase their reputation. And, and, you know, staff and, and metadata are not my strengths, so it's, it's hard for me to know how much of this we would put into the metric. It's some of these are very specific, like Ontosoft is geosciences stuff to start with, but they may help. And I don't know when we're building a metric, how much of a gigantic laundry list of things to check for we put into something. I mean, since it's all automated, I guess we can tell it to go look for everything, but I don't know what's mm -hmm. possible, right? And building something that's, that's workable versus something that just gets too clogged with input to be functional. I think going through these will help us to maybe address the fair metric. Should we then work on the researcher reputation? Let's let's take a look at it. I think yep. okay. there's there's a lot to digest here that I think a larger group would yes should, should want to start looking at. Yeah, I think we definitely could put these in the minutes um, so that. Uh, yep, I have added them to the minutes. Thank you. So we're looking at researcher reputation. Question is, are we to be clear? I am not tied. Oh, should we pause the recording first of all while we're working? We yeah. Can pause.